I'm working with underglazes for the colors and the effects that you have when you use a lot of water with them are very similar to doing a watercolor. You can put them on thinly or you can put them on like the two or three coat and make them look opaque also. If one color goes over the another one, it can have a beautiful effect. It sometimes can be muddy also. And you can always, if you make a mistake, you can take your sponge and just wipe it off. A lot of times I, I'll dilute the color in the cap of the little bottle or I'll use a, a palette like this. You can get it in an art supply store. And that's nice because you can mix your colors in here too. Not every piece you make comes out the way you expected that to come out. And that's true with people that have been doing ceramics for years too. There's disappointments, there's happy things, and that's just, that's the nature of it. What I'm gonna do on the bird is about the opposite of what I did on the base, the loose watercolor. I'm going to do a drawing in pencil and then I'm going to cut in with the underglazes and do inlaid, like I'm doing a real a painting of images. I'm using a regular drawing pencil. The pencil will not show when it's fired. It will, it will burn off. This one's kind of a soft, soft lead. The great thing about it is, if you make a mistake, you can use your wet sponge as an eraser. Another approach is you can just paint. Um, you can draw with your brush, basically. You can make these colors look pretty natural. You could do a landscape, you could do a portrait, you could do, you can do a lot with these colors. They're, they're very versatile. I start feeling like it's finished when I get to a certain point of all the uh, detailing, all the little images are outlined. It's just like, okay, it's time. And then it's going to be glazed and fired in the kiln. Its last firing will happen. If you have a friend who has a kiln and can fire it for you, that's great. If not, there's those ceramic places that will fire your work for you and it'll be ready to use. Thank you.